And you? Hi. Okay, here is Teacher. a little bit harder. Hello. Hi. Sorry. Teacher. Hello. 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 Good evening. Nice to see you. Very nice. Hi, Alejandra, Jose, Walter, Eric, Ellie. Hi, Ellie. We Hello. missed you yesterday. Hi. Hi, Herbert. Hi, Hi. Elmer, Diego, Magdiel. Hi, Magdiel. Selena. Hello, Selena. Hi, teacher. Ali, Francisco, Elizabeth. Hi. See you. Very good. Alexia also. Welcome, guys, to class. And hi, Natalie. All right. How's everybody? Everybody okay? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yes, Esos ánimos ni porque es nada jueves ya. My goodness. <laughs> Let's be happy, guys. Come on. So we have no class, so that's good. All right. So today is our Friday. All right. Remember the yes. on Friday, okay? So today is the last class of the week. So we have finished the first week, all right, of your course. So that's pretty, um, you know, exciting and everything. Okay. So guys, <laughs> I sent, I mean, no, I did not send. I received most, I mean, some of your homework, but not everybody was able to send it to me. So I do hope that you have it with you and that you worked on it. Did you guys work on your homework or not really? Be honest. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know Alexia. Alexia sent it to me. Anna sent it to me. Mario also sent it to me and a couple of more. But what about the rest? My goodness. Ah, uh, there you go, Eric. Thank you so much. All right. Herbert, did you work on your homework? No? Yes. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, I don't work my homework. And ah, what happened, Herbert? That's okay, Herbert. That's okay. I didn't know. It. <laughs> oh, you didn't know. Herbert, are you on the uh, WhatsApp group? <laughs> Herbert, are you on the WhatsApp group? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, I am. Okay, all right. Ah, uh, the thing is, like, I did not send it on the WhatsApp group porque estaban las respuestas, entonces iban a copiar. <laughs> all right, that's why. But I'm going to send it tonight, all right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to okay. share that with you right now. Can you see it? This was the homework that we had yesterday, all right? So, number yeah. two, we didn't bring our umbrellas. We got wet. Aha, uh -huh. Eric, can you tell me number one, please? Mm -hmm. Number one, let me see. If we had brought our uh -huh. umbre umbrella, we wouldn't have gotten wet. Excellent, very nice. Good for you. Alejandra, oh, number yeah. two. Okay, uh, if Jake had studied, uh -huh. he wouldn't have failed the test. Jake had studied, he wouldn't have failed the test. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, you got a star. You want to see your star that you got? Shining Yay. star. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Jose Rodriguez, number three. I mean, number four. Number four. Okay. Uh, I didn't teach you. <gasps> y mire lo que le iba a enseñar a usted, pero como no tiene, olvídelo. So, I'm sorry you lost your star. Okay. All right, okay, my goodness. Sí, yo esforzándome, buscándoles stickers. All right, let's see. Uh, Walt, uh, Walter Guerrero, can you tell me number four? Okay, if I had ridden the bicycle, I couldn't have fallen off. Excellent, very good. Usted sí se lo merece, Waltercito. Can you see? Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Natalie, next one. Natalie, Natalie. I'm sorry. Number five, right? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. If I hadn't met uh, yesterday. Uh huh. I wouldn't know yeah, his yeah, name. Yesterday. I wouldn't have known his name. I wouldn't have known. All right, very good, nice, thank you. Very good, hi, Williams. All right, very good, hi, Williams, how are you? Barbara, what happened yesterday, Barbara? You were not in class yesterday. So sorry. That's okay, that's okay, very good. Okay, I'm happy you're with us. All right, Williams, did you do your homework? 
No, I didn't know about. I didn't know. No importa. No yeah. Siempre no importa. That's okay. I didn't know about the test. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's okay. Diego, did you do? Diego, Diego, oh, Diego, did you do your homework? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Sorry. All uh, right. The letter, the number six, right? Yes, please. Okay, uh, if the TV hadn't broken, they wouldn't have been bored. Okay, they wouldn't have been bored. Very good. Alexia, next one. Isaac. Seven. If Isaac hadn't sat under a tree, an apple wouldn't have fallen on, on his, his head. head. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good, Alexia. Very nice. I'm sorry. See, Alexia, that's for you. Can you see it? Yeah, very good. All right, very nice. Let's see. El Mercito. Vamos a ver si va a tener a sticker o no, El Mercito. No se equivoque. A ver, number eight. Elmer. I didn't do work. Do homework, teacher. <coughs> do the homework? Yeah. Oh, excellent, Elmer. <laughs> what happened? No lo hice. Okay, all right. Rocío, let's see. Do you have eight, Rocio? Uh, no, but I, I want to try. <laughs> ah, that's good. Okay, very good. Try it. Uh, if Kevin hadn't got lost, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have cried. Cried. Very good. Nice. Nice. Very good, Rocio. Very well done. Selena, did you do your homework, Selena? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's see. Number nine, Selena, please. If Jenny had practiced a lot, she would have won the contest. Excellent, Selena. Can you see this? That's for you. Thank you. Um, excellent. Very good. All right. Nice. Let's see. Who else do I have in class? Elizabeth del Carmen, do you want to try for number 10 or did you do your um, homework? Yes, teacher. I was missing yesterday, but I uh -huh. tried. Excellent, number 10. Elizabeth. Very good. Uh -huh. Number 10, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, the chairman and why they put up the fight. If the, if the chairman are right they couldn't put they couldn't put put off put off the fear the fire all right mm, fire, kind yes. of elizabeth good try it's okay all right that's when okay uh-huh we need to use we need to use the if, if the fireman uh-huh okay anybody who if has number 10 Guys, who has number 10 that can help us, can help Elizabeth? Okay. Uh -huh. Can help me, please? Uh, me? I have the number 10. Okay. Uh, the fireman couldn't have put out the fire if they hadn't arrived. Oh, I you switched that. it. You, you made yes, a switch. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, very nice. What about 11, Francisco? Do you have 11? Francisco, no? All right, let's see. Anna, hi, Anna. Can you try to do number 11 for us? Um, no, no, I, I haven't the correct. Um, ah, creo que esa lo, la, lo que tenía malo, malo era la negativa, creo. Yes, yes. All right, okay. All right, someone that has, that's okay, Anna, someone that has number 11, guys, anybody? Yes, me, okay. Natalie. Okay, Natalie, tell us. I'm trying to, uh, if that hadn't been a funny joke, I couldn't have laughed. Okay, all right, very good. And Mario, hi, Mario, welcome. What about number 12, Mario? Hi, uh, Mario Cortez or Mario? Mario Cortez, I don't think the ah. other Mario is in right now. Ah, okay, okay, no problem. <laughs> the number 12, right? Number 12, the last one, yes. Okay, if we have cleaned, if we, if we have cleaned the room, we wouldn't have messy. It, okay, let's check it. Okay, 
Let's see, mm -hmm. I wanna show it to you guys, it's right here. If you wanna take a picture, you can take a picture right now because those are the answers. It wouldn't have been messy, right, uh, Mario? All right, ah, so it wouldn't yeah. have been, yes, yes. That's right, right. okay. So guys, you may take a picture if you want to, because that's like, those are the right answers. Okay. Yes, I got okay. it. Thank you. Excellent. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for like participating mm -hmm. on everything. Yes, participating on everything. So as I was telling you yesterday, um, usually the third conditional, it's, you know, sometimes a little bit, it makes us work a little bit more than usual. All right. Because we need to remember that we need to use the past perfect plus subject the would could or might plus have plus the past participle of the verb okay you need to learn the structure if you learn if you learn the structure there's nowhere you can get lost okay but for that guys you need to practice okay that's the only thing that i can recommend to you okay so we're gonna move on today with i told you on the group we're going to start section two right now okay and i mm -hmm. i saw uh some people were already uh texting or commenting on the um on the discussion box which is very nice of you i will check them tonight because today was my day out so i went to um i did some shopping today some grocery shopping so i've been kind of like everywhere today so i'm gonna do it later so right now i want to show you what i have for you here and this is it okay if you can have your camera so i would be nice and see you guys and make sure that you're there please so we can make eye contact thank you anna very nice of you all right so guys uh we're describing purpose this is the topic number two i mean this is section two topic the first topic of section two describing purpose okay so this is what i'm gonna share with you right now just give me a second here Whoops. So we have describing purpose. All right. So here we have a. Hold on. Oops. Okay. So we have clauses of purpose. Okay. When we describe purpose, we need to use clauses. Okay. And I'm going to explain it to you right away. Now it says use to express the purpose of an action. When we use clauses of purpose, that's what they. Um, are used for to express the purpose of an action or to answer the question why or for what okay so if someone asks you why you give the answer you give your reason you give your purpose or you share that purpose with them okay so in other words this is what you have clauses of purpose are the ones that we're going to be using are infinitive clauses Remember that infinitive clauses is when we use the, the infinitive to. To go, to play, to run, to learn, to study, to travel, to eat, to whatever. All right, so you add the to plus the verb, okay? Barbara, can you read what it says there, please? You use? Use a purpose clause when you want to explain the reason for a person's action. Okay. The most common, the yes, most common type of purpose clause is a two infinitive clause. That's right. For example, mm -hmm. for example, Amy went to the computer lab to print out her research. This can only be used if the subject of the main verb is the same as the subject of the infinitive clause. Okay, so this, thank you, Barbara. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is what I want you to understand, okay? As Almost in every topic, guys, there are many ways to express something in English, all right? In this case, we're expressing purpose using infinitive clauses. There are other ways to express purpose, okay? But right now, according to the platform, we're going to study the infinitive clauses that helps us to give purpose or to give a reason, okay? And that's why it's like I circled it because this is the most common type. Ojo con eso. I said the most common type. Quiere decir que hay otras formas, okay? But the most common type is uh, of purpose clause is a two infinitive clause, okay? Just like Barbara read it, it says Amy went to the computer lab to print. Why did um, 
Amy go to the computer lab. Why did she go? To print. To print, to print, to print. out her Ex research. Excellent. Report. Let's go back here, guys. It says, answers the question, why? Okay? If you go back to the example, Amy went to the computer lab to print out her research report. So I ask you, why did she go to the computer lab? To print out her research report. So you give me the reason, you give me the purpose of Amy going to the computer lab. Do you understand? Guys, yes. do you understand? Um, okay, yes. now. I have a question for, yes, for the... Yes. Uh, where is the, the example of the infinity clause in, in, in this example? Mm -hmm. Where uh, is it? Yes. To print. To print. To, to print, print is the infinity clause. That's right, yes. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. The other two, where it says Amy went to the computer, is not an infinity. It's just, uh, just the word to, the preposition to, something to. All right? The other okay. one, the two needs to follow a verb. Okay, so in this case, it's to print, yeah? Okay, thank All you. All right, very good, thank you. All right, so now we keep on reading and it says, this can only happen, ojo con esto, this can only happen or this can only be used if the subject of the main verb is the same as the subject of the infinitive clause, okay? Si no es el mismo, hay otras formas que podemos usar. Okay, but right now we're using infinitive clauses. If you watched the video, you saw the infinitive clauses. And if you didn't, you're going to see it right now. So this is what, it's the same thing that is on the platform. Okay. Here we, we use the words or expressions to, in order to, y esta es una extra que no está en la plataforma, pero cabe porque es infinitive. Acuérdese que yo le trato de dar un poquitito más, para que usted sepa un poquitito más. So as to, okay? That's also an infinitive clause. Si se fija, todos llevan el to. To, in order to, so as to, okay? Yes? All right. Now, this is something that I want you to see and to remember. On the last topics, we have been talking a lot about the use of the comma. Here is the same thing. Ana. Puede ver, Anita. Sí, Ana. Puede ver, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, Ana, can you try, can you read? It says emphasis placement. Can you read the first um, chart? Emphasis uh, placement. Emphasis, mm -hmm. emphasis placement. Uh, an infinity clauses is moved to the front of a sentence. The emph to emphasize. emphasize. To emphasize. 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 Uh, to purpose or as an introductory clause. Mm -hmm. Wording that goes, goes well, well. Mm -hmm. goes well with the rest of the para paragraph. Place a paragraph. comma after the clause. Okay, thank you, Anna. So again, guys, if you begin your sentences with uh, an infinitive clause, that means that you're going to begin to practice typing to learn English, to find information, that's your infinitive clause. If you begin your sentence with the, the, the infinitive clause, you need the comma as soon as you finish the clause, all right? For example, to practice typing, I often go to the computer lab. Now, your emphasis is not the computer lab. Your emphasis is that you practice typing. Huh? So if you want to be very emphatic, you need to begin your sentences using the infinitive clause. To find information, I always go to the library lab. The library lab is not important. What is important here on this sentence is that I find information, okay? So whenever you want to be emphatic, you need to have your infinitive clause at the beginning, and as soon as it finishes, you need a comma, okay? Now, si se fija, to practice typing, no tiene ningún sujeto. Está, like, in, inmerso en la misma oración, right? Y usted empieza diciendo, to practice typing, I often go to the computer lab. Es el mismo sujeto en ambas clauses. Por lo tanto, puedo usar an infinitive clause, okay? Using to. The normal placement, let's see. Williams, can you read it, please? Yes, 
no comma is used when the infinitive clause is placed after the main clause. Excellent. Continue reading, Williams. I often go to the computer lab to practice typing. Okay, next one. I always go to the library lab to find information. Okay. And I ask my professor to get an answer to a difficult problem. Excellent. If you know, thank you, Williams. If you notice, they are the same sentences, okay? But the emphasis of the sentence changes, all right? But it's the same information. Now, if you have your, um, yeah, if you have your main clause first and then the infinitive clause, you don't need a comma. Just like we were talking about yesterday and the day before of the other topics. Do you guys understand? Yes. 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 Yeah. All right. Okay. Very good. No le va a pasar el ejemplo del Titanic ayer. All right. Do you have questions? <laughs> no. Y de repente el Titanic y nadie decía nada del Titanic. All right. That's okay. Let's continue here. Same subject. Seguimos con el same subject. Affirmative sentences. He's getting some money to buy tickets for the concert. Okay. It's the same person. Why is he going to get some money, guys? Hello, why is he going to get some to money? Buy to buy the tickets. To buy the tickets. To buy the to tickets. Buy tickets. The Ex concert. Excellent. He's getting some money, listen, so as to buy the tickets for the concert. Okay? It's the same question. Why is he going to get some money? So as to buy the tickets for the concert. So the expression, so as to, it's okay, all right? He's getting some money in order to buy the tickets for the concert. So if you notice, guys, we're using to buy, so as That's to, true. in order to. Pero todas llevan el to y, el, lo, y les sigue el verbo, all right? Sin ninguna conjugación porque está en infinitive anyway, okay? Mm -hmm. Same subject, affirmative. I went to the baker's uh, to, or in order to, or so as to get some bread. Why did I go to the baker's? To get some bread. To get some, to get some, some bread. bread. In order to get some bread. So as to get some bread. O sea que aquí, aparte de estar aprendiendo cómo decirlo, también está aprendiendo cómo contestarlo. Right? Porque yo le puedo decir, why do I go to the, why did I go to the bakers, uh, to the bakers? Y usted me dice, to get some bread, que es la más fácil. Pero me puede decir, in order to get some bread. Yeah? Or, to get some bread. Ya se ve más sophisticated, yes? Do you guys understand that? Yes. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. The thief attacked from behind to uh, surprise them. Okay. The thief attacked from behind in order to surprise them. The thief attacked from behind so as to surprise them. Why did the thief attack from behind, guys? To surprise them. So as to them. surprise them. To su so as to surprise them. Nice. Thank you. Or in order to surprise them. Or to surprise them. Pero como ya son pre avanzado tres, hoy van a decir so as to surprise them. Yeah? So you sound more sophisticated, yes? All right. Ya dejemos lo, lo básico. To surprise them, eso fácil. Eso fácil con uno. The meaning, the meaning is the same. It's the same. Oh, the same. okay. Yeah. Just another way to say things. Okay. Yeah? yeah? All right. Excuse Very good. Me, now, me, teacher, yes, I yes. have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, um, what of these uh, three expressions yes. is the most natural? The most common one is the two one, to get some bread, to surprise them. Okay, that's the easiest one and perhaps the, mo the most commonly used. But you're going okay. to find out that the other ones are also like used very much. So the idea here, guys, is also for you to like, like know new things because suddenly you're watching a movie or you're listening to a song, or you're listening to someone speaking, and they cannot, they won't use to get some bread, they will use us to get some bread. 
Y entonces ahí ya no se oh. va a perder porque sabe que es lo mismo. All right, pero todo okay. es... So, but yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys understand? Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank yes. You. Yeah. Now, you can also say this purpose in negative, okay? So we say negative in order to, so as to, it says use in order not to. Don't use not to alone. Le damos vuelta. All right, we say uh, not to surprise them. No, not to surprise them. Vamos a ver los ejemplos aquí. A ver, um, que lean acá. Vamos a ver. Magdiel, can you read, please? Yes, teacher. Thank you. I drank a lot of coffee in order to, sorry, in, in order, order not to fall no. asleep. Excellent. I drank a lot of coffee in order not to fall asleep. No puede decir, I drank a lot of coffee in order to not fall asleep. Okay? Grammatic <laughs> esta forma. Yeah, guys? Yes, hello. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. Uh, Mario Cortez, can you read the second one, please? Okay. I drank a lot of coffee so as not to fall asleep. Excellent. Very good. Eli, Larin, can you read the other one? He, he shut the window in order not to the noise, the noise of the street. In order not to hear the noise of the street and the ah, other pero choice. No, 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 bien. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Es que la veo muy chiquito. Sorry. Okay. And I the other. Uh huh. He shut the window in order not to hear the noise of the street. Okay, or? Or he shut the window so, and, so as not to hear the noise of the street. Excellent, okay, very good. All right, let's see. Um, David Rivas, can you read the last one, please? <laughs> okay, he came in quickly. Quietly, in order, quietly. quietly, in order not to wake the child. Excellent. Or? Or he came in quickly. Quietly. Quietly, uh, so as not to wake the child. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. All right. Okay. Do you have questions, guys, so far? Guys, do you have questions? Alexia, yes. Alejandra. Uh -huh. Yes, I have one question. Why is that this this order the this two word change? For the uh, negative. Huh? Instead of say do not, we say not not to. Because they like to complicate our lives. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. So <laughs> in that you. case, you just need to remember that it's upside down. All right, but it's I mean those crazy okay. rules all right okay okay thanks <laughs> all right very good anybody else guys questions no questions um, all right no questions entonces yo voy con las questions just give me a second here guys i need to find your exercise ah no pero lo tengo aquí creo espérame espérame Oh, yeah. Here. Okay. Let's see. I'm sorry. I have it here on the PPT. Uh, here. All right. Voy a detenerme aquí con el infinitive of purpose with the infinitive, uh, with the infinitive clause. Porque using for is a little bit simpler, all right? It's not so complicated. So what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to take a picture of this right now. Hold on. Can you take a picture of this right now, guys, please? Hello? Yes. Hello. yes. It's done. Done? You took the picture? Yes. yes. Okay, very good. Okay. So what I want you to do, guys, is I want you to go back. I mean, you're going to go to your groups and you're going to finish the sentences with your partner. So, for example, I'm working, I'm working with Cecilia and I say, okay, so we have to finish the sentence with an infinitive of purpose. 
So I say, Cecilia, I stole the car. In order to, I don't know, you may invent algo, right? You can use to, in order to, or as to. Okay, it can be negative if you want it. Do you understand what you're supposed to do? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and then then yeah. Cecilia asks me, Jessica, why did you steal? Why did you steal the car? I am sorry, I stole a car in order to have money because I don't have a job because of the quarantine. Right? All right. Nice yes? idea. <laughs> It's only, a, it's only a, an example. Do you guys understand what you're supposed to do? Yes. Yes. Excellent. It's raining, yes. guys, in your house? Yeah. Yes. And, yeah, yeah, it's raining house. here, too. Yes. So, dirt and cats. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's raining cats and dogs. Okay, so we're going to go back to our groups right now, guys. Oh, we have 20, 22 people today. Wow, almost full house. Very nice. How many we are? 26. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi, Natalie. You okay? Hola. Hello. Hi. Yes. Hi. Were you able to go to your group, Natalie? Or am I in your group yes. right now? Am I in your group? Okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry. We're just two? You and me? <laughs> no, no. You are supposed to go to, to group number five, Natalie. You didn't receive the invitation. Uh, can you check? No. Natalie, are you there? Hi, Magdiel. Hi, teacher. Uh, I don't have a partner. I don't know. Ah, no, but to... he was taking a while. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you back, uh, Magdiel. Or do you have the invitation there? Uh, no. Uh, can you send me right, uh, again, please? Okay, yeah, right now. Hold on. Just give me one second. Oh, there you go, Magdiel. Okay, thank you. Hi, Natalie. Oh, hello. Uh, I'm alone. In this yeah, room. I sent Herbert. I think he's having problems with his internet connection. Okay, so I'm trying to solve this. Hold on. I think. Yeah, I don't see him right now. Oh, he's supposed to be here. Hi, Herbert. Herbert, are you here? Natalie, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to move you to another group. I don't know if he, I think he's having problems with his internet connection. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Don't worry. If I if you want, I can solve it here. If you want. Do you want to wait a little bit for him? 
Uh, yes. Okay, okay, let's do no that. Problem. Maybe he's gonna come eventually. Let me know if you're still alone in a couple of minutes, then I'll move you back, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Natalie. Thank you. Okay. We need to use um, plus, plus corpus. Um, I don't know what. Because why do you, why do you wear a uh, now? Why do you wear into a fight in order to earn money or yeah. as to last money? In order to earn money, I think it's okay.
in into a lake? I jump into a lake so as so as uh, so as swimming. <laughs> swim. So as so as swim. So as swim. Okay. The next one. In this case, uh, always uh, we use to why or why. Um, uh -huh. Here we have the the question directly. Uh -huh. What do you do to impress the opposite sex? Okay. Salesman. So, okay. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Did you finish? Not yet. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are thinking about. <laughs> Williams, I'm sorry for yesterday. I felt bad. Mm, you're broken my heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. I didn't. <laughs> no, no problem. I was trying to remember all of the, the students that were not in yesterday. Yeah. Of course, I missed a couple, so I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just checking. <laughs> all right, I'm happy. But I, yeah, thank you. Yeah, all right, very good. Behave, yeah. Eddie, okay? <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. I jumped I into jumped a on. lake. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi Alexia. Hello. Hi, Walter. Hello. You you finished? I used to look hard in order to drive it around. Oh my goodness, are you serious? <laughs> I got into a fight in order to defend myself. Wow. I walked to the store to buy some groceries. Okay. I went to the club in order to meet some people. I learned to play the guitar in order to be on a band. Nice. I ran from class to my house in order to get to do exercise. Okay. I pretend. I was, I pretended maybe, I okay. pretended I was sick, or is this okay. I pretend? I pretend. Oh, no. Pretending. Yeah. Sick. Mm -hmm. All right, I pretended I was sick in order to stay at home at school. <laughs> I yelled as loud as I could in order to alert the people. Okay, I jumped into a lake what do you do to impress the opposite sex? In order to impress the opposite sex, I dress, I dress nicely. Nice. What have you done to help your friend? In order to help my friends, I listen to them. Okay, very nice. I'm not sure about this, this last... Uh, this, this Would thing. you? We, we have to fill the blank with like an extra... It's like supposed extra. to be. Would you... Jump for would a you play, like jump. to? Oh, ah, like. Would you like to marry the man of your dreams? If he would exist, yes. <laughs> I'm kidding, okay. Walter. I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. Very nice. Very nice, guys. Good. Good job. Give me a couple of minutes, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go see another. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Alejandra. Hi, Hi. Selena. Hi, Hi. Girls finished? Yes. Excellent. All right, let's see. So Alejandra stole mm -hmm. a car. Why did you steal a car, Alejandra? <laughs> I stole a car in order to pay my bills. Excellent. <laughs> well, it's not excellent, but that's okay. Uh, Selena, I know. Too. <laughs> Why did you get into a fight, Selena? What happened? You're so nice and sweet. In order to defend my brother. Oh my goodness, that's nice. All right. Ow, ouch. All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Ale. Um, why did you walk to the store? Uh, so to buy um, bread. Nice. All right, very good. Uh, <laughs> Selena, why did you go to a club? In order to so socialize. Oh, okay. More. Okay, very nice, nice answer, very good. Okay, uh, why did you learn to play the guitar, Alejandra? 
in order to uh, listen, in order to, to, <laughs> in order to, <laughs> in order to uh, learn a new skill. Okay, very good. In, in order to learn a new skill, very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Selena, why did you run from class to your house? In order, yes, I I ran to my house in order to wait, lose weight. Lose weight. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to do the last one and we're going to go back because I need to finish the presentation for the use of four, okay? Sorry. Let's see, Ali, um, why did you pretend to be sick, Alejandra? Um, in order not to go to my work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I like that. All right, very good. Nice, girls. We're going to go back right now, but good job, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you. You are mute, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are paying attention to me. That's great. Thank you. All right. So, be whoa, what happened? Okay. So, before we go, I want to finish this part of the presentation, which is not so complicated. That's why I left it at the very end. Okay, again, this is part of your um, video on the platform, okay? So in here, we can also use for to express uh, the purpose or the reason of something, all right? But the difference is that after for, you don't use a verb. You have to use a noun. You use the infinitive, okay? So here we have for a business to succeed, it has to have, I don't know, lots of chairs, I don't know, if it is a cafeteria, something, all right? So for a business, so business is not a verb. You can say, you cannot say to a business, right? You say for a business to succeed, all right? Or for uh, me to learn English, all right? So you don't need, in that case, it's a personal noun, all right? So you don't need a verb right after for, but you need the infinitive after the noun. Do you understand that? Guys? Yeah. Uh, yes. Who said no? Eric? <laughs> yeah. Again, uh -huh. explain. Uh, explain it again. Okay. So here, Eric, we're trying to, uh, at the very beginning in English, we have many ways to express the same ideas. Okay. So another way to express the same idea of purpose or expressing, expressing purpose is to use for instead of using the, the infinitive uh, clause right away okay so we can use for all right in my we can use for in a sentence but if you use for you need to it needs to be followed by a noun not a verb okay you cannot say for go okay or for buy or for learn <laughs> okay so you say for you to learn english okay you need to practice or you need to practice with Jessica, okay? So here you say, for you, that would be a personal pronoun or a noun, for you to learn English, so you use for, but right after for, you have a noun. And after the noun, you have the infinitive. And you know that in infinitive, you have to use a verb. Yes, so for you to learn English, yes, for COVID-19 to, I don't know, get eliminated, you need to stay home, all right? So you use for plus the noun, and after that, you need the infinitive. Do you understand now, Eddie? Yeah. You sure? Pinky promise? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. All yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> so the other way, the, the last way that we're going to learn today is still, and if you notice, ¿por qué está esta dentro del infinitive clause or del purpose clauses? Porque usamos el infinitive. Bueno, entonces, si ustedes vieron los, el video, if you watch the video, hablamos de varias formas de usar el tú. El tú solito, in order to, que puede ser omitted, el so as to, que les enseñé ahorita, o el for, pero después uso el infinitive, all right? And then, este es el más largo, pero es no, no es complicado, all right? In order, in order for, a, usamos in order ahora, ok? Pero ya no decimos in order to, for. Solo ponemos in order y luego for y luego igual no, it's going to be followed by a noun and then the infinitive, okay? If you meet Eric and everybody, if you meet in order, le queda for. O sea, le queda esto. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So it can be omitted and it's go nothing is going to happen. It's going to be the same thing. You're saying the same thing. Okay, this one is a little longer. It's a little bit more formal, perhaps. It's a little bit more, you know, wordy. But at the end, it's the same thing. You're expressing the same idea. And if you notice, again, you're using an infinitive. That's why we have it in the same topic. Yes, guys, you understand? Yeah. 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 Yes. Right. yes. Very good. Before we go, I think we have like like about three minutes or so. Let's see, Herbert, why did you steal a car, Herbert? Why did you do that? Tell me why. Okay, let me a second. I stole a car to go to the hospital. Oh my goodness, okay. That's a very good reason. Carlos Alberto, why did you get into a fight, Carlitos? Usted tan, tan pan de Dios que se ve. Why did you get into a fight? Okay, teacher. Uh, I got into a fly so as to travel so far. Uh, so as to what? So as to travel so far. But it's not flight, Carlos. It's fight. Huh? The um, fight. it it says fight, like not boxing. flight. <laughs> like boxing, like. Okay, I have a confusion here. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Ya decía yo que usted no se metía en peleas. Very good. All right, Ellie. Hola. Why did you walk to the store, Ellie? Walk. Uh, I walked to the store in order to buy some vegetables and fruit. Excellent, Eli. You're making me hungry. Very good. All right. <laughs> Williams, what about you, Williams? Yeah. Uh, why did you, uh, Williams, why did you go to the club yesterday? Por eso no entró a clase, uh -huh. I went to a club in order to dance. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Francisco, why did you learn to play the guitar? I learned to play the guitar in order to to play my favorite music. Very nice answer, thank you. Mario Cortez, why did you run from class to your house? I ran from class to my house so as, so as not lost the TV program. Oh, I thought the class, I mean my class, the other class. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the other right. class, The yes. other class, very good. Selena. Let's see, Selena. Why did you pretend to be sick, Selena? What happened? In order to, in order not to do my job. <laughs> good. All right. Very good. Jose Ramos. Thank you, Selena. Why did you yell as loud as you could? I yell as loud as I could so as to try to stop the kid. Oh my goodness, nice, very good. All right, Natalie, why why did you jump into a lake? Oh, I jumped into a lake to take a shower. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Barbara. Uh, ah, what do you do to impress the opposite sex? Are you... Nothing, I'm beautiful, dear. <laughs> <Are> you... <laughs> 
I put some makeup to impress okay. in order to impress the opposite. Oh, all right. Okay. Very good. Alexia, what have you done to help your friend? In order to help my friends, I listen to them. Okay. Very good. All right, guys. Very good. I think it's time to go. All right, I'm going to share the presentation with you as soon as we finish the class, okay? Remember that we have finished section one, we finished it yesterday, and we began section two. So that means that I hope that you guys really work on your platform this weekend. Remember that tomorrow we have Yo sé que quieren seguir, pero no, hay que descansar. All right, so uh, I'll see you Monday. <laughs> Me encanta que estén aquí casi que todos, ¿verdad? Very nice. Eh, Elmer se tuvo que salir por trabajo. Noemi está con un poco malita de salud. Y no sé los otros chicos y chicas que no entraron. Pero igual. Thank you very much for being with me tonight and this whole week. All right. So keep it up, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you on Monday. Thank you. Have questions. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Bye, guys. You too. Bye. Bye.